oils are awesome for our skin and yes we should use oil on our skin on our face we should do oil massages on our face because the effect that oil massages are going to give you on your face you are not going to get it from any cream any lotion but yes i know many people when they use oil on their skin they suffer from acne or any other kinds of skin issues there can be allergies so how oil should be used in the right way when we should use oil when we should avoid use of the oil what results we should expect from the use of the oil these all things i'm going to talk about in this video hi my name is dr vivek joshi and welcome to my youtube channel if you want your skin to be supple soft if you want to delay the signs of aging on your face on your skin then yes you should start using oil so which oil we should use if you are subscribed to this channel then maybe you already know my favorite it's kumkumadi oil i have been saying about kumkumadi oil two years back three years back and today also i am stick to it that kumkumadi oil is the best oil for your skin the only thing is about the quality of kumkumadi oil kumkum means saffron so the oil that has saffron as the main content plus other good herbs in it is called kumkumadi oil it's the saffron oil and this oil is best for your skin you can find very cheap saffron oil in the market you can find expensive ones also but i will recommend you not to use the cheap ones because it just goes with the logic saffron is costly how you can get kumkumadi oil for cheap so it's better to buy a good one and use it it's very good for blemishes melasma any kinds of pigmentation on your skin kumkumadi oil is going to do magic even with the wrinkles you are going to see very good results if you will be using kumkumadi oil even i have made my own kumkumadi oil and i have tried to use the best herbs in it i'll put the link down below in the description box of kumkumadi oil but i was saying about kum kumadi oil even before i launched my own kumkumadi oil i have launched my own maybe an year back but before that also you can see my videos where i am talking about kumkumadi oil so kumkumadi oil is the first choice second oil is sweet almond oil it's also hydrating it's going to give elasticity to your skin your skin is going to be hydrated your skin is going to be soft and supple that's for sure that's why it has made the place in my top 3 picks about the oil the third one is it's a mixture of two oils it's castor oil with a little bit of rose hip oil mixing both of the oil means three drops of rose hip oil in a little bit of castor oil then applying it on your face this is just magic castor oil with rose hip oil is going to exfoliate your skin it's good if you have acne prone skin uneven skin dull skin in all these conditions this mixture of castor oil with rose hip oil is going to work even it is good for post surgical scars or if a person is suffering from eczema on the skin or any other kinds of skin issues then also this oil mixture of castor oil and rose hip oil can be used so these are my three top picks how to use oil if you haven't used oil in your life or if you feel that when you use oil your skin reacts and you get pimples then first take few drops of oil and start using it in the small area not all over your face just in the small area just use it maybe over this part just massage over here and use very less quantity of oil why because this will make your skin habitual of oil we want your skin to be adapted to the use of the oil this will happen with the time so slowly slowly your skin will be adapted to the use of the oil then after a few days take very little oil and do a good massage of your face but before massage make it clear that your skin is clear it doesn't has any dust or any of the allergen on it clean your face and do it at night before sleep the massage so after washing your face tap it make it dry and after that just before you sleep 
take few drops of oil you don't have to take lots of oil little bit of oil so that all of the oil is absorbed by your skin in such quantity take the oil and do a massage but anyways if it's starting maybe you'll have some acne next day if this happens then have a gap of 10 to 12 days and as these acne will subside then again start using the oil on your skin and next time when you will use it you will see that your skin is not reacting in the same way as it reacted first time so give your skin time to repair itself and the shock that it has got by the use of oil to come out of that shock and then again use oil maybe next time if you'll have acne the acnes are going to be not so bad as it were in the first time and they are going to subside very fast whatever i am sharing with you in today's video these are all my own experiences with my patients when they use oil so next time acne are not going to be so much maybe one acne or two acne maybe it's not going to be with all of you but maybe with some of you then there will be an acne and it's going to be small and is going to vanish within few days so if again if you see acne it has happened then again have a gap of five to seven days as it subsides then again start using oil and now you are not going to have acne that's for sure and then you are free to use oil for all of your life i challenge you if you do so you will feel that what a gift you have given to your skin your skin is going to love use of oil so this is the most simple and the most effective or you can say the most safe way to use oil on our face and if you like the content in this video or any of my video from this channel has been helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in next video with a big smile up to the time smile more stay happy stay healthy